Last August, the government was forced to terminate the tender awarded to Spanish firm Isolux for putting up a high-voltage cable between Loyangalani and Suswa after the company went into receivership. This further delayed the evacuation of chief power generated by the Lake Trukana Wind Power Project to the national grid. And today, the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company Limited, Ketraco, has announced a sealing a deal with the consortium of Nari Group Corporation and Power China Ginzu Engineering Company Limited for completion of the project. Ketraco says the project that is expected to be completed in seven months will cost taxpayers 9.4 billion shillings. In a statement, Ketraco Managing Director Fernandez Barraza said, Everything will be first tracked to ensure that the project is completed within the stipulated time and we assure facilitation of work permits and tight security to enable delivery of the project. The project was initiated out of a need to evacuate power in bulk generated at the distant remote areas at the northern part of Kenya. Once completed, the project targets to increase electricity supply, quality, reliability and most of all reduced power costs as it will be evacuating the cheaper renewable energy. Chen Chao, the general manager of Nari Group Corporation, said they will be hitting the ground running to ensure first implementation of the project within the period. We have outlined a methodology that will accelerate the process and I am confident that we will deliver as per the contract. The 420 kilometer Loyangalani Suswa 400 and 220 kilovoltage transmission line is the second largest project for of its kind to be implemented in Kenya and also in the region. Regina Manyara Guitar reporting for Channel One Business.